When the problem is so big, they can't think of who else can tackle it, they turn to the U.S. Army. When Hurricane Hans Sandy struck, who'd they call? The Army Corps of Engineers. The Corps drained 286 million gallons of salt water in just nine days out of the New York City subway system. In the 10 years following Hurricane Katrina, the Corps designed and built $14.5 billion, 100-year storm protective system for New Orleans, a feat of engineering that includes 133 miles of protections, 350 miles of canals, and a gated storm barrier that contains more concrete than the Hoover Dam and is visible from space. Let me brag on the Corps just for a little bit longer. Few people in this country realize the impact it has on their daily lives. Just here in D.C., they built the U.S. Capitol Dome, the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, the Library of Congress, and the Pentagon, though I'm not sure we want credit for that last one. 360 million people a year visit Army Corps of Engineer land for outdoor recreation. That is more than visit National Park Service land. They are the largest hydropower producer in the United States, and they are leading the largest ecosystem restoration program in the Florida Everglades in the history of the world. And when the Smithsonian finally displays its new T-Rex skeleton, there will be a sign that says, on loan from the United States Army. And it's not even our only T-Rex.